What I went through just a few years ago is really what drove me. I was sick for over two years and I, that's the only thing I thought about. This is what I'm gonna do, I don't know. I don't care how I get there, I'm gonna do it. Meet Bryant King. Born with a rare condition by the name of caudal regression syndrome, King's journey through life has been filled with no shortage of hardships and adversity. But through it all, he continues to exceed expectations and has become an inspiration to the entire program. And so with me, it affected my right leg. I didn't have uh, the knee joint. Um, I had a foot, but only with partial toes on it. So they amputated the foot so that I could grow up and have a prosthetic leg. Um, I also have only one kidney. Um, and then I also had a, about a 70, 80% curvature in my spine. So that's why I have to walk with a cane. It's hard to walk with the prosthetic leg and to have scoliosis. And because you were born with one kidney, you've had some family help. I have, yeah. My one kidney from birth uh, started failing when I was five. Um, my dad was able to step in though and step up to the plate and donated his kidney to me. Um, that one lasted about six years, um, did dialysis, and then my uncle donated his kidney to me in 2002. Uh, that one lasted about 11 years or so. And uh, my older brother ended up uh, donating his kidney to me in uh, July of, or June of 2014. I met Brian in the workout over the summer. This particular workout was very intense. I needed extra help doing some rebounding and that. So uh, text coach Tilton, he said, hey, one of our new guys is gonna be there for you, Brian. He's gonna be there to, to help you. So I get out there and uh, you know the guys weren't there yet. I got there early to set up and I'm looking down there on the floor and I see Brian King, which I call him. I see King down there and he's, you know, he's got his crutch, he's shooting around on one basket, and you know, and I'm saying to myself, man, I gotta, I'm not sure if he can do what I need him to do today. You know, I doubted him when I saw him first, and I bet you he's had people doubting him his whole life by looking at him. The first time I met him, and he said, uh, just call me King. And I thought that was kind of odd. But the more I know him, you know, that, that, that his last name fits him better than his first name, because he really is a, a, a king in my eyes, you know. His disability is not a crutch. It's nothing that holds him back. Because he was prepared to do anything that the job entailed, including the physical stuff, rebounding, getting down on one leg, wiping up the spots, anything that a manager does, he does over and above. I don't stop. I, I always, I'm always working. My brain's always moving on what I can do better, what I can do to help the team do better, and what I can uh, give the coaches to help them be better. Obviously, he's got, he's got some challenges that other guys don't have, but I, it's never been an excuse. He still does better work than anybody I've ever had. You know, just to have somebody in the locker room every day that's living proof of, of what you can accomplish when you don't have excuses and when you don't limit yourself, I think that's what you're striving for your players to do every day. It, it's just to do the best they can do and, and to rise above the challenges and the obstacles that there are in front of you to, to make yourself successful and make your team successful. I'm not out here to constantly be the inspiration to this team. The, those other guys got other things to worry about than me. I'm just here to do what I need to do to help this team win. These are Division One coaches. These are the guys that I want to work with the rest of my life. And so to have two coaches that are recognized nationally um, give a guy like me that kind of praise feels nice. I'm not one that wants praises, I'm just, I'm just here to do my job.